tonight. Mm. I'm surprised by all of you. Nobody picked the Las Vegas, uh, Vegas Raiders. Listen, we, we thought their defense wouldn't be any good. It's been pretty good. But it's their offense what is exciting. They can score with anybody. Their talent on the offensive side is as good as any team in the NFL. They have every play in football out there. They use it all. They shift and go in motion every play. Why? So Derek Carr knows exactly what you're doing on the defensive side, and they dial up the right plays. John Gruden has found his man. Him and Derek Carr are together, and it's working really well. Jim Rome just said you are what your record is. No love for Teddy Bridgewater and Denver? I gave you a little love. I told what you they two rookie quarterbacks, and right? obviously beat the Giants. That's not a big deal. Teddy's playing well. I you last week say well, don't give him credit because of who they played. Did you well, watch I just said that this week, too. I did. Well, Absolutely. did we give him love sitting up there no, talking about it? You did. Anyway, let's get on to it. Anyway, now we take you to first on the field for the latest news uh, and updates on your matchup presented by FedEx where now meets next. Give him a week off and he gets angry. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, from the Twin Cities with a good one inside as the Cleveland Browns take on the Minnesota Vikings. With Trent Green, Kevin Harlan, we've got two quarterbacks in this one that are playing well. Well, let's start with the hottest quarterback, and that's Kirk Cousins. In the 10-year career, this is one of his best starts to a season. He's got eight touchdowns, no interceptions, and as you can see, completing nearly 74% of his passes. He gives a lot of credit to the head coach on the other team, and that's Kevin Stefanski, who was his quarterback coach in 2018 his offensive coordinator in 2019 but it's the job he did last season in his first year as head coach of the Cleveland Browns getting them into the playoffs and getting their first playoff victory in 26 years and the job he's doing with his quarterback Baker Mayfield Mayfield's putting up some good numbers as you can see almost 74 percent as well he understands what he has around him in that run game and with his defense Kevin Stefanski has him playing very well Trent dangerous edge rushers will have those quarterbacks in their sights all afternoon. Well, both of the, the, we have two of the top five pass rushers in the NFL. Miles Garrett leads the NFL with five and a half sacks. Daniil Hunter is tied for fourth with four sacks. Garrett, the Browns like to move around in different spots on the defensive line. Hunter you'll traditionally see from the same spot. Two terrific running attacks. Dalvin Cook comes back from injury for the Vikes. And that's a big get for the Minnesota Vikings getting Dalvin Cook back. He has averaged nearly 100 yards per game in the first two games. He did miss last week he shouldn't be doing that with a bum ankle jumping in there in free game warm-up <laughs> then on the other side for the browns odell beckham jr week seven last year tore his acl last week against the bears was the first time back on the field you see the numbers five catches 77 yards look for him to be even more involved today the cleveland browns have won two in a row vikings lost their first two but one last week over russell wilson and seattle back to the nfl today after this on cbs